Good morning everybody. On a beautiful day, it is Tuesday, December the 13th, 2016. And on Tuesdays, we do Troubleshot Tuesdays. And today, I have a shot to a flag over there. I've got maybe a 70 yards, 80 yards shot, but I got a little tree in my way. So I need to hit a high shot to get the ball up in the air quickly enough to not have this tree as an issue with my shot. There's several ways that you can go about this. You could play safe and go to the right. I would have another little chip shot, but it would be a very, very safe shot. I know I wouldn't hit anything. I could try and go a little left and catch the front edge of the green. I'm now going over the corner of the water here. A little more risk involved if I you know, hit it poorly. But the shot over the tree is not difficult. And what I want you to do is to know what kind of trajectory I'm going to expect. One of the little tricks that I use is to put the club down on the ground and stand on the club face. If I stand on the club face, it's going to give me the approximate trajectory of that club. Now, I use the word approximate. Obviously, at impact, in order to get that, my shaft would have to be level. If I have forward shaft lean, I'm going to de-loft it. So I want to make sure that I don't get too much shaft lean on the shot. So if I take my 60 degree lob wedge and I put it down on the ground and I look at that, it says to me that I'm going to clear that fairly easily. So because I've got a little ways to go and I have a bit of breeze into me, I might look at maybe using my sand wedge. I put the sand wedge down stand on the face. I'm going to clear it, but barely. I'm going to barely clear it with a sand wedge. So the sand wedge, if I allowed the club head to pass my hands and get a little bit of backward shaft lean, I might get it up, but I don't want to take the risk. So I'm going to take my 60 degree lob wedge. And now when I do my practice swings, I want to make sure that I let this club head come past my hand. So when I come through here, I'm letting the club head come past my hands so that at impact I have very little. I don't want to come in and have a lot of forward shaft lean. So I actually do my practice swing here and feel that my shaft is fairly level. Now I know that I've got about 80 yards. So now I set up. Bam, that ball stopped about five, six foot from the flag, cleared the tree easily. I've got a chance at getting a shot up and down. So when you have something in front of you, use that little trick to get the approximate trajectory and then understand that you don't want to get too much forward shaft lean. Those two things, you should be able to clear that shot, the tree easily.